Winnipeg Rifles ready to rock Regina this Sunday, second round of the Prairie Football Conference playoffs. And it's the conference semifinal here with head coach Jordy Wilson. How's your team prepared this week for a, uh, it's going to be a heck of a game on Sunday. Yeah, we're excited, man. Like, you know, Tuesday, that Monday, they had off. Obviously, Tuesday, we didn't, honestly, we didn't even bother looking at last week's film. We were on to Regina and we've been preparing pretty good. And we had our first practice last night. Practice number two coming up tonight. And again, it was a good teaching session last night. We expect the tempo to get a little faster today and then get a ripping tomorrow and get ready to go. People always curious of the health of the team going into uh, another playoff mm -hmm. tilt. Uh, well, <laughs> we lost Gabe Grenier again, unfortunately. Uh, God, he's had a terrible, terrible luck this season. So we lost him. And then, you know, I was just actually, while we were walking out here, I was talking to Weston Shields. So I'm not sure, but that's. Probably about it. I mean, everybody's banged up a little bit, but other than that, we're ready to go. Where's been your focus uh, placed this week is, uh, you know, you get the mm -hmm. guys in here to look at the film of the Regina Thunder and, um, you know, work on some of the areas in your own game. Yeah, I, the big thing with the Regina that's different from a lot of the other teams is they're, they're very blitz heavy. They're like a little unorthodox how they play defense. So it, it takes a long time to kind of get a good handle on what it is they're doing. So we spent a lot of time on that. Um, so countless hours of film work and getting it to a point where it's chunky that we can teach easily to teach to our kids and stuff. So we really worked a lot on that. And then, you know, they got a couple guys like Ford number eight, um, who we really have to take care of on, on their offense. I mean, he's a good football player and he's been a guy that's gashed to see, you know, he's a smaller guy, he's a quick guy, but he's a 23 year old, he's a mature football player and he's gashed a lot of guys. So we got to do a good job of controlling him this week. Jordy, how much does a win help just the overall feeling inside the room that, you know, you guys have a W behind you, you mm -hmm. know, when you go into this very important playoff game? Oh, well, hey, <laughs> winning always beats the alternative, no question. But, but I mean, you were here. It was, you know, it was, it was good because it was a real game. Like, it was a closely, hotly contested game. And there's the difference when you're playing playoffs, and it's just, it's the finality of it, right? Like, you know, like, if you, like you, if you don't win, you're done. So there's that feeling. I was really, I was nervous as all get go before the game. And to be honest with you, I couldn't sleep. I, I had so much adrenaline going through me. It was about two in the morning by the time I finally fell asleep. Then I had to get up at five, but I for work. But then I had to I actually woke up at four. So I figured I was just going out because I couldn't sleep. And then it's been like that all week, kind of just getting up early and you know doing a lot of film work, getting ready for these guys and. Yeah, they, I think we're ready now. Like, I, I mean, like, we're really ready to, to teach them properly, and that's the key thing now. So we did a lot of teaching last night, and it'll be more tonight. And then, like I say, then we can get the tempo tomorrow so that they really understand what it is that they're doing. And then uh, we'll get on the bus on Saturday morning. We're going to stop and see our good friends in Mooseman or have our special teams practice there, uh, the old Mooseman generals. It's all good. So we'll go there and hang out and have a little practice. And then on to Regina, get some food, go to bed, maybe watch the Bomber game. Yeah. And uh, then uh, on and let her rip. Uh, you mentioned going on the road, and that's what my next question was. Of course, we love playing home mm -hmm. games, love the fans here uh, at Mustangs Field at uh, Maple Grove Park, but it can be a good thing that the guys get on the bus and, and have that camaraderie and that time together to, you know, gel up before this game. Oh, no, and it's good. Like, it does. There's that whole, like, again, like, you know, you guys come to practice, they got their own lives of school yeah. and work and everything else. So yeah, they're immersed with each other, whether they like it or not. And this group actually, they do genuinely like each other. So it'll, it'll be fun for them to get out there. And, and it's gonna be a fun atmosphere. Like, I mean, you know, you're probably gonna see 1,500, 2,000 people at the game. It'll be, you know, the fans are there, have a tendency to be, you know, our bench is right in front of them. There'll probably be a little John going on and all that kind of stuff. And they're a, a pretty animated team in general. So it'll be, it's nasty territory we're going into, but it'll be fun. Is uh, discipline going to be important in this game? Oh, man. Like, you know, absolutely. And it's kind of funny you should say that because I even talked to some guys on our team that have, you know, the propensity to maybe run their mouths a little bit too much or sure. do some stuff. So I've actually talked, like, so, for instance, our defensive scout team, like, there's certain guys on offense that I know that you can, you know, poke them and get some reaction out of them. Mm -hmm. And I've actually targeted them. And I said, go after those guys, push them when they get off the file, shove them, say some crap to them. And again, vice versa, same going against our defense. Why? Because if they react here right now, I'm going to go crazy on them. And they're going to do 10 dirts because they need to understand, you go there, this team, this is how they play the game. They're going to poke you and prod you and yap at you. Their coaches are going to yap at you. You cannot react to it. So our guys have to play with great discipline. So we're going to try to help them out this week. you got to practice how you play, and that yeah. goes into the emotional part of the game as well. Uh, final thought from you. 
you know, Jordy, a lot of people are saying, hey, the Regina Thunder, they had such a great regular yeah. season. Can they be beaten? Well, we believe so. Um, we wouldn't be getting on the bus if we didn't think that was the case. So, I mean, you've been around, you've seen all of our games. We've got betters you're going. We're not the same 18, 19 year old that they played, yeah. you know, almost three months ago now. You know, like we're not the same team. And we've added some some more skilled guys in. Our, our group has got more mature. We're ready, man. And we're, we're going to give them every single ounce of energy. And the big thing is to beat these guys. We have to be mentally prepared, but we have to match their juice. Like they play with a lot of energy and we have to exceed their energy level. If we play with that and we keep discipline, we'll be fine. Yeah, it's uh, all going to be on the line on Sunday in Regina, Winnipeg, Rifles, and Regina Thunder. And, uh, of course, you'll be able to catch that game on CJFLTV.com. Good luck this week, Coach. Thank you, and rifle up.